government degree college mahibubad telangana state department of commerce business statistics paper 1 learning resource prepared by j srinivas assistant professor of commerce in this video let us discuss scope of statistics in earlier class we have learned about the origin growth development meaning definitions of statistics statistics of statistics and important features are characteristics of statistics in this lesson we are going to discuss few contents among them one is scope of statistics statistics has developed as a science in its own right and its principles methods from the foundation of our statistical work in all fields this is because its principles and methods involve certain logical patterns which may exist in almost any problem area or any subject matter field statistical principles and methods are specially appropriate for handling data which are subject to variations that cannot be fully controlled by experimental methods statistical methods are devices by the application of which quantitative data influenced by multiple causes are collected and so scientifically analyzed and elucidated that they are brought within easy and clear grasp the scope of statistics can be divided into the following broad divisions number 1 statistical methods statistical methods are considered a common kit of tools for describing and analyzing data for various disciplines in other words statistical methods are the procedures used in collection organization summary analysis interpretation and presentation of data they provide tools for extracting basic truths which often lie hidden in a mass of data and the second one is applied statistics the applied statistics consists of applications of statistical methods and techniques to the problems and facts as they exist quality control sample surveys quantitative analysis of business decisions etc are included in applied statistics in our syllabus we have to discuss statistical methods statistical methods of important which are very important and in our syllabus the university has prescribed statistical methods then it is mandatory to learn so what are the important statistical methods the statistical methods are the first one is collection of data collection of data and the second one is classification of data the third one is tabulation of data fourth one is presentation of data fifth one is forecasting of data sixth one is sorry fourth fifth one is forecasting of data sixth one is analysis of data and seventh one is interpretation of data so these statistical methods are we are going to learn in broad way in ongoing chapters because this collection of data classification of data tabulation of data as analysis of data presentation of data are our ongoing chapters so in coming chapters we learn all these contents in a broader manner and we have to work out the problems and we have to do exercise also in these topics 
Now let us discuss functions of statistics. So what are the, so what is functions of statistics? The fundamental gospel of statistics is to push back the domain of ignorance, prejudice, rule of thumb, arbitrary and premature decisions, tradition and dogmatism, and to increase the domain in which decisions are made and the principles are formulated on the basis of analyzing quantitative facts. For this reason, we find today that there is hardly a phase of human activity which does not find statistical device useful. The ever-growing usefulness of statistics is due to the functions it performs. The science of statistics performs the following functions. Number one, to simplify complex facts. The basic purpose of statistical method, methods is to simplify great bodies of numerical data. The complex mass of data are made simple and understandable with the help of statistical methods. Human mind is unable to remember huge facts and figures. Statistical methods make this data easy to grasp. Figures are boring. A man is bound to be confused and lost in figures. Statistical techniques like averages, variation, graphs, diagrams, etc. are some of the simple techniques to simplify the complex facts or complex numerical data. The second function, one of the fu second functions of statistics is provide, to provide comparative study. The science of statistics does not merely mean counting, but also comparison. Comparison in quantitative terms is easy. Borington, one of the statisticians, states that the object of statistics is to enable comparison to be made between past and present results with a view to ascertaining the reasons for changes which have taken place and effect of such changes in the future. Hence, the chief function of statistics is comparison. Statistical devices like averages, ratios, percentages, rates, coefficients, standard errors, etc offers the best way of comparison between two or more phenomena. Now, the third function is to study relationship between various facts. Another function performed by statistics is to investigate relationship between two or more phenomena. The relationship exists between demand and supply, money supply and price level, rainfall and agricultural production can be can best be measured with the help of statistical methods. Statistics also helps in finding out the association between two or more attributes. The fourth function of statistics is to enlarge individual knowledge and experience. The proper function of statistics indeed is to enlarge individual experience. Knowledge becomes precise and easy to understand with the help of statistical techniques. Statistics is such a master key that it solves problems of any mankind in every field. Many fields of knowledge would have ever remained closer to mankind, but for the efficient and useful technique and methodology of the science of statistics. A statistical estimate may be good or bad, accurate or reverse, but in almost all cases, it is likely, likely to be more accurate than a casual observer's impression and in the nature of things, can only be disapproved by statistical methods. So, 
the another this function is analyze the human knowledge while using statistical methods to solve problems another function of statistics is to formulate policies in different fields this is the ultimate function of statistics statistics helps in formulating policies in different fields especially in social economical and business fields various laws have also been developed on the basis of statistics for example malthus theory of population and engels theory of engels engels law of family expenditure are due to the statistics collected by these two noted economists now let us look at importance of statistic the application of statistical techniques is so widespread and the influence of statistics on our lives and habits so great that the importance of statistics can broadly be over emphasized in fact the age of statistics is upon use and the present culture has become statistical culture without the statistics much of the machinery of modern life will grind slowly many fields have progressed in the past and are still progressing with the help of statistical methods human activities in field of economic sociology and politics for example when a farmer wishes to have a particular quantity of rains in a particular season for good harvest he has an idea of the correlation that exists between rainfall and crop yield a laborer may not know anything about index numbers but he can tell the fluctuations in the precise fluctuations in the prices in terms of percentage or proportions let us look at the importance of statistics and how it is related to other fields for example importance of statistics in economics statistical data are a powerful aid in economic analysis professor a marshall the renowned economist observed that statistics are the straw out of which like every other economist how to make bricks the study of every economic problem requires the use of statistical methods statistical methods are the tools and appliances of an economics laboratory statistical methods constitute tools which are taken out of toolbox and used just as doctors uses stethoscope for diagnosis of a patient economists have been examining economic behavior in new relations and contexts in an effort to throw added light on the complexities of modern economic organization and to test hypothesis derived from the theory as we learn in economics the diminishing marginal theory demand supply theory etc are the examples of how the statistical techniques are statistical statistical methods are being used to develop these theories for example the law of demand the and the elasticity of demand are based on induced reasoning under induced reasoning general laws are propounded by studying data about a particular phenomena it is the function of a statistician to collect data and from those data laws are derived by economists now let us see importance of statistics in planning we say simply with without the statistics there is no proper planning whenever we think of an economic plan for a country we have to think of statistics planning cannot be imagined without statistics statistics is the base upon which the structure of planning is based in drawing plans in executing them and evaluating the achievements of plans at every step dependence on statistics is inevitable 
Economic planning is now regarded essential for the proper and systematic development of a country. Economic planning has assumed a special importance in the underdeveloped countries. Economic planning aims at proper exploitation of the national resources, both men and material, so as to raise the standards of living with the people. Before framing a plan, we have to know what is our present production capacity, what are our requirements, what are the resources that can be exploited, what is the trend of our population. This question cannot be answered without proper statistics. If planning is adapted for solve some special problems, then we do have to know the extent of problem. Without statistics, economic planning will be a planning in the dark, especially in India, by planning for the economic development of country, plan framers have made use of the statistical materials available in the country. Lack of and inaccuracy of statistical data are responsible for many drawbacks and inaccuracies in our plans. Statistics are used in economic planning for the following purposes. Now, importance of statistics to the state. The basically, the growth of development itself is depend, was dependent on kings. Activities. As we know, the kings were, their goal was only expansion of their motherland expansion of their country for that purpose they have to maintain a large number of military so for that military they have to provide food arms and ammunition training etc for that purpose they have collected the money from the people for that purpose they have to counted the population of their country and who are the people to pay tax for the for the tax collection they have to uh, conducted census and in that purpose they have used statistics in their country in the same way today in our modern society statistics are the eyes of the government administration government have since long collected and interpreted data concerning the state. In fact, the word statistics is originally derived from state and the statesman or science of statistics is regarded as the science of statecraft. Statistics are byproducts of government administration. Certain statistics like that of crimes, taxes, wealth, trade, etc. are collected in administration automatically since the conception of a welfare state and increase in the duties and functions of your state. Importance of statistics has increased in government administration. For efficient administration, statistics are the essential tools. Now, let us take another importance. Importance of statistics to industry and businessmen or commerce. As we know, the statistics is a body of techniques that deal with the collection, summarization, presentation, and analysis of quantitative data. In this sense, statistical procedures have been employed by business managers since data on commercial transactions have been recorded. With the administration becoming more and more complex, additional statistical methods have been developed to aid the management process to success with which management functions are performed depends upon the availability of valid, timely, and relevant information. According to Professor Boddington, the successful businessman is one whose estimates most closely approach to accuracy. Therefore, it is not surprising that businessmen and industrialists are 
relying on statistical methods in managerial decisions. Statistical methods are applied in market and product research, investment policies, quality control of manufactured products, selection of personal, economic forecasting, auditing, and many others. According to Professor Boddington, in order to succeed in any business today, the businessman must study all the factors which enter into production, buying, and selling, exporting and importing of goods in which he deals. So these studies involve use of statistical methods. Every businessman, irrespective of his nature of business, has to employ statistical techniques in estimating trend prices, trend, trend of economic activities, etc. So, so that in our syllabus, there is another, there is a chapter that is index numbers. The index numbers are very much useful in stock market and also is very useful in current commercial age because statistics are equally important to the stock and share brokers, speculators and investors. They have to study and compare the prevailing rates at different places. In sense of business, who would not have developed but for the development of statistics? Theory of probability works itself, work itself out fully in the field of insurance. So like this, there is a very much important of statistics in the society. Now, though the statistics has much importance, but the statistics is facing some limitations. Statistics is an extremely useful science, but it has its limitations and shortcomings too and it is necessary to understand them. Statistics must be regarded as an instrument of research of great value, but having several limitations, which are not possible to overcome, and as such, they need our careful attention. The application of statistical methods to investigation in the technological and indeed in any other field is based on assumptions is subject to limitations and often leads to uncertain results. These limitations should be kept in mind while using or interpreting statistics. These few limitations are, number one, statistics studies only the quantitative aspect of your problem and does not study its qualitative aspect. The science of statistics studies only the quantitative aspect of a problem. That means if there is a numerical data, then only statistics enters. Then only statistical methods can be used. Those facts which are not capable of being quantitatively expressible, like intelligence, poverty, harness, etc., cannot be studied unless these attributes are reduced into precise quantitative terms as. Professor Sekrist observes, some phenomenon cannot be quantitatively measured. Honesty of resourcefulness, integrity, goodwill, all important in industry as well as in life generally, are not susceptible, in, susceptible of direct statistical measurement. Only those phenomena which can be expressed in numbers like wages, prices, productions, yield, etc can be studied properly in statistics so this limitation of statistics limits the scope of the statistics science now statistics deals with averages statistics largely deals with averages and these averages may be made up of individual items radically different from each other. Law, laws of statistics are true and an average 
these laws are not universally applicable as the laws of physics or chemistry for example according to law of gravitation everything that drops from above falls on the ground laws of statistics are not so universal they are true and an average the reason being that statistics deals with such phenomena which are affected by a multiplicity of causes and it is not possible to segregate the affected by a multiplicity of causes and it is not possible to segregate the effects of one factor as can be done in physical sciences now the statistics does not study individuals this is a serial limitation of statistics if only 1000 people die of starvation in india the percentages of this deaths will be very negligible figures but this does not in any way reduce the torture of death of the families suffered by these deaths similarly average wage of a factory workers may be high but there may be some workers who may be underpaid statistics fails to bring out such features in other words of wa king statistics from their very nature of subject cannot and will never be able to take into account individual cases when these are important other means must be used for their study statistical results are only approximately correct this means statistics unlike mathematics or accountancy is a science of estimates when observations are extended many sources of inaccuracy are found to present and it is very frequently impossible to remove them completely statistical results are therefore very general estimates rather than exact statements statistics fails in the field of fair perfect accuracy is desired so another limitation is statistical results are not always beyond a doubt according to professor conner statistics deal only with the measurable aspects of things and therefore can seldom give the complete solution to a problem they provide a basis for judgment but not the whole judgment the results of investigation should not be taken as 100% correct but they should be examined in all of their aspects the statistical results should always be put in the proper context and while interpreting them the context should not be looked over statistics is only a means this means statistical method for is only one method of studying a problem there are other methods also these methods should be used to supplement the conclusions arrived at with the help of statistics it should be borne in mind that statistics is only a means and not the end it analyzes the facts and throws light on the real situations even then one has to acknowledge that it is necessary for solutions of problems as accurate measurement or for the construction of building statistical techniques no doubt essential for processing analyzing and interpreting numerical data but the methods are by means perfect and it is very dangerous to jump into conclusion without a clear cut idea about its limitations but in practice it happens that when statistics are available reason is frequently dispensed with indeed reasoning is sometimes thought to be equivalent to citing statistics do statistics has some limitations it no one is more aware of the limitations of statistics than the statistician he regards he regards the subject as a gardener regards a sieve or the mechanic regards a box spanner that is as an implement which has a useful 
particular and limited function. Therefore, the statistics, the subject statistics facing with limitations. Therefore, it, the because of the limitations of statistics subject, it leads to distrust of business statistics. By distrust of statistics, we mean lack of confidence in statistical statements and statistical methods. It is often commented by people, statistics can prove anything. Disroli often says, there are three types of lies. Number one, lies. Number two, diamond lies. And number three, statistics. The following three main reasons account for such views about statistics. Figures, they can be manipulated in such a manner as to establish foregone. Figures are, sorry, figures are convincing and therefore people are easily led to believe them. They can be manipulated in such a manner as to establish foregone conclusions. The third reason for distrust of business statistics is, even if correct figures are used, they may be presented in such a manner that the reader is misled. Misled. I give you some example. For example, note the following statement. There are 50% girl students who are diagnosed with COVID-19 positive in a class of a college. With this statement, we become panic and afraid of corona. Parents, with this information, parents are not willing to admit their girl students in the particular college because half of the girl students will become sick. But later it is observed that there is only one girl student affected with the coronavirus and also there are only two girl students in the class in that college. We might reach a different conclusion. Hence, while making useful of statistics, one should not only avoid outright falsehood, but also be alert to detect possible distortion of truth. Suffice here to know that statistics neither proves anything nor disproves anything. It is only a tool that is method of approach. Tools, if properly used, do wonders, and if misused, prove disasters. The same is true of statistical tools. If used properly, they help in taking wise decisions, and if misused, they can do more harm than good. But the Fault does not lie with the science of statistics as such. In fact, statistics are like a clay of which one can make a god or devil as he pleases. So, there is some distrust of business statistics, but it has many, many useful this is very useful subject. Without statistics, we never, we never 